everyone. Welcome to my first tutorial. What we're going to be going over today is some bottoms up uh, calculations. We got cubes per meter, we got barrels per feet. This thing will show you how to calculate this stuff fast. No need to look in a book. If you guys got any questions, put it in the box below. Any comments, any new ideas, let me know. This is basic stuff here. A lot of you may know this already. This is for the new guys that uh, want to learn more. So we'll get into it. As you can see, we have some uh, sweet computer animation here. So for this example, we're going to be using 222 millimeter hole. And inside this hole, we have 127 millimeter drill pipe. Now up in the corner there, you can see the sweetest formula I have ever laid my eyes upon. ID squared minus OD squared divided by this crazy constant number that I want you guys to memorize. Very important, probably the best formula I've ever learned. Now when we're talking about ID here, we're talking about ID of the hole. And on the OD, that'll be the OD of the pipe or the tubular that you're using at the time in that hole. Now you take your ID, 222, times it by 222. In this example here, 49,284 is the answer. Now, OD squared, take the 127 and times it by the 127. And that equals 16,129. Take those two numbers, subtract them from each other, and it gives you this answer here. Now take that little guy there, divide it by the constant, that 1, 2, 7, 3, 0, 0, 0. And looky, looky, we got 0 0.026 cubes per meter for our final answer. But wait, we are not finished yet because we need to take our number and multiply it by the total length of the pipe in the hole. Which equals 78 cubes outside of the pipe in the hole. Now you're going to take that total volume, divide it by your liner stroke capacity. Which in this case happens to be 0 0.0167 cubes per stroke. And bingo bango, you got 46, 46,000, 4,670 strokes for bottoms up. Nice work. All right, so now we'll hit you guys with the barrels per feet calculation. Same type of thing, a little different numbers, that's all. Okay, we got a hole here, which is 8 and 3 quarters inches wide. OD, damn it, ID. And we got some 5-inch uh, drill pipe in that hole there. Our calculation is going to be ID squared minus OD squared divided by 1029.4. You got the ID squared, which is the ID of that hole. And then you got the OD squared, which is the OD of the drill pipe. Now you got to take your 8 and 3 quarters times 8 and 3 quarters, which is like 8.74 or 8.75 equals 76. OD squared... 5 times 5 equals 25, and you subtract the two numbers, and you get 51.38 as the answer for that one. Then you take that 51.38 divided by that little constant number there, 1029.4, and that gives you 0 0.05 barrels per feet. Nice work. Now we need to finish this off by taking the total length of your pipe in the hole, which is 10,000 feet times by 0 0.05 and it gives you 500 barrels 500 barrels is the total volume in the annulus that's all around this drill pipe here so you got that 500 barrels you gotta take that liner capacity per stroke so in this case here it's 0 0.105 divide that by your 500 barrels bada bing bada boom 4,761 strokes, and you got your bottoms up. Nice work, everyone. Now, you guys got to remember, this is assuming your pumps are running at 100% efficiency. Whose pumps run at that? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. But uh, most rig calculate for 95%, so you just got to take your total strokes and, you know, calculate it for 95%, and you're good to go. Hope you guys like this. Uh, it's my first tutorial. Leave comments. Let me know if you want more. Uh, have a great day and uh, keep returning to the right.